Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. It's Megan JC Couch and on this video I will be doing an actual review of this new L'Oreal Invisible Sunscreen Bright Reveal SPF 50. So just letting you know that I don't have any makeup or foundation on my face. I already washed my face by the way and of course uh, I am wearing my lipstick and um, if you're curious, I'm just wearing this Maybelline and I am in love with this color. It looks so natural onto my lips. So by the way, this is the kind of sunscreen that I will be reviewing today. But before that, I am just going to brush my hair a little bit and then I will start showing you the actual application of this sunscreen. Now let's talk about the active ingredients of this sunscreen. I am just going to type it here later just in case I mispronounce. So first, this contains an avobinson, which is 3%. This is a chemical sunscreen. Another one is the homosylate, 15%. This is to shield the skin from sun exposure by absorbing UV light. And it protects the skin from harmful sun rays. Another one, this is the octisylate, octisylate, just uh, correct me if I got wrong, 5% sunscreen, and then it says here the octocrylene, I don't know if I am pronouncing this right, so this is octocrylene 10% sunscreen, so these are all the active ingredients of the sunscreen. So aside from the active ingredients, there are a lot of inactive ingredients, but I am not going to elaborate one by one on here. So when it comes to the consistency of the sunscreen, if you can see that one clearly in the camera, it looks like it's runny or it's kind of super liquidy consistency. So now let's talk on how to apply and when to apply the sunscreen. So apply 15 minutes before sun exposure and then make it sure to reapply at least every 2 hours. So don't forget to shake well on the bottle before applying it onto your, your face. And by the way, this sunscreen is not a water resistant. So if you're doing like swimming or um, extreme sport, then better choose a sunscreen that is a water resistant. So now as I'm applying my sunscreen, I did not really measure how much sunscreen I'm going to apply. But ideally, it says that it's about like two tablespoons of sunscreen that you're going or we're going to apply it onto our face to get the maximum benefit of the sunscreen. So honestly, I don't have time to measure for that. So I usually eyeball on how much sunscreen I'm going to apply it onto my face. So what I usually did or do is that um, I usually apply the first layer. Then after like a minute or two minutes, then I'm going to reapply apply just to get the maximum amount of sunscreen for my face because you don't want to put uh, less sunscreen onto your face because you can't get the uh, maximum benefit of the sunscreen. By the way, this sunscreen also contains vitamin C and vitamin E and these are just antioxidant. This help protect for, from environmental damage. So as you can see on that, when I apply the sunscreen, it's very easy to apply. It's non-greasy when it comes to the texture and it's really super lightweight on the skin and it blends perfectly on my brown, brown skin tone. And also, as you can see on that, it has like a glowy finish onto my skin and this is a chemical sunscreen so there is no white cast. So as I've mentioned, I don't measure the sun amount of sunscreen that I put into my face. So I just eyeball and I layer my sunscreen like after like two minutes, I have to reapply another layer of sunscreen just to make it sure that I get the full amount of sunscreen or benefit onto my skin. Now I'm going to share my honest thought about this sunscreen. So for me that I have a dry skin type, so I think this sunscreen is for me, but this is not for everyone because I think that if you have a super oily skin, then maybe you should find another product because it feels like a little bit oily onto my skin, honestly. So for my dry skin types, I am in love with it and this has no fragrance, so which is really great because if you have a sensitive skin, it's always nice to find a product that is fragrance free another thing is that if you have a very sensitive skin then i would say in my opinion that better to try some mineral sunscreen rather than a chemical sunscreen so this sunscreen is paraben free dye free and mineral oil free 
So before I'm going to end this video, I'm just going to remind that just in case you are looking for a sunscreen on which sunscreen to purchase because we have different skin type and skin problem. So always look for a sunscreen that has a broad spectrum protection, which means the black UVA and UVB. And this sunscreen is a broad spectrum SPF 50. So this is for me, it's really perfect. So this is how my skin looks like after like two to five minutes of applying the sunscreen. It looks super glowing or glowy. So I have a dry skin type and I keep on repeating this one, but I really like it. I like how it feels because it makes my skin like hydrated feeling and it doesn't look like dry, especially during winter season. This is really perfect if you have a dry skin type. But I always have to say this one, we will have different skin types, skin tones, skin problems. So always uh, consult for a dermatologist just in case you have a sensitive skin. Bye.